Carlson works a lot with polylines. Due to that fact, there are often times when those polylines will need to be edited. Accordingly, Carlson offers a large variety of polyline editing commands to prevent the need from redrawing a polyline from scratch. The first one I would like to examine is reverse polyline. Occasionally, as in this case, the text on a polyline appears to be upside down. This is due to the drawing rotation itself and the direction that the polyline was created. To fix this, an easy edit for this is to just simply reverse the direction of the polyline. To do so, we'll take a look at edit and the polyline utilities. When you look through these, you will see a massive amount of edits, again, that have very specific purposes and several flyout menus with even more options. For this, we are looking for reverse polyline. I execute the command, pick the polyline, and it reverses the direction. Now the text is readable. Another command is to edit existing polylines such as these that have vertexes. If I needed to add or remove vertexes from these polylines, I can do so without redrafting them. Under Edit, Polyline Utilities, let's first start with Edit Polyline and Add Polyline Vertex. I execute the command, select the polyline that I would like to add, and then just pick points on the screen between vertexes and a new vertex is added. Similarly, if I would like to remove a vertex under Polyline Utilities and Remove Polyline, I can remove a polyline vertex. I select the polyline and click on the one that I would like to remove. You can also edit each polyline vertex independently through a convenient dialog box through Edit Polyline and Edit Polyline Vertex. I select the polyline and the first vertex I would like to edit. A dialog box appears with the information about the polyline. Coordinates, elevation if there was one, elevations can be assigned, slopes and distances can all be changed. You can also pick a new position. You can hit next or previous to travel your way along the polyline, editing each vertex one at a time. Another polyline editing tool that surveyors would often like is to set the polyline origin. When a polyline is first created, it has a point of beginning. That point of beginning at some times may be random. When a surveyor would like to write a legal description that begins at a particular point, they can take a polyline, such as this boundary line, and dictate where that description would begin by setting that origin, the beginning point of the polyline. To do so, We'll go Edit, Polyline Utilities, Edit Polyline, and Set Polyline Origin. I execute the command, select the polyline, and pick the point of beginning. If I were now to use the legal description writer, it would begin at this point.